journey from a design school to being where we are today, we owe everything to our alma mater, to our School of Planning and Architecture, which enabled and empowered us with the right tools and tackle of professional practice. It gave us both the necessary hardware, which is nuts and bolts of our craft, as well as the software of inculcating the work culture, the work ethos, spirit of doing, of experimenting and not be afraid of failure. So these are the, some of the things which enabled us and empowered us professionally. We, way back, Government of India used to be the biggest patron of design, uh, architects and projects. Uh, we competed in several competitions, design competitions. I'm very proud to say that we won quite a few of them. And one of our very first assignments, which was an award-winning uh, office building for MP Urja Vikas Nigam in Bhopal, uh, that, that got converted into a built project fairly early in our career. Uh, three years after graduation. So we started our career with uh, our practice with a big bank and uh, we never looked behind from then on. Three key philosophies define our style today. Uh, one which is simple, design should be simple in design and execution. Uh, they should be striking in form and appearance and they should be sustainable in long-term usage. We also believe that our design solutions are effective are efficient and are expressive. Some of our, it's, it's, it's an interactive journey with we, which we have with our clients, with our user, with different stakeholders, which define our style and the final build form where we are today. It's a great honor and uh, it's a privilege to be part, to be selected as India's, uh, is to be part of the Forbes list uh, as India's top architects. Uh, Bina, my partner, uh, joins me in thanking you and the team for selecting SWBI, Sanjay Vadwa and Bina Adnani uh, for this rare honor.